YouTube. What's the word with y'all, man? Now today, I'm coming at y'all with a VC method, man. And I ain't gonna lie. First things first, I just wanna say, man, shouts out to Rocky, man. If y'all don't know who Rocky is, man, this is, I ain't gonna lie. This nigga got it with the, you know what I'm saying, with the methods, bruh. This nigga got it, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna say all credits go out to him. This is all his video. I'm strictly just doing this to put my niggas on, you know what I'm saying? But I love all y'all, man. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Now, the first method is what I call the art of shooting uh, dunes method. Now, I'll explain more about it. But you're going to the build that I recommend for this is a center 7'3", 230 pounds, and an 8-foot wingspan. Now, I would copy these exact same attributes because the, standing, the starting attributes are pretty darn good for this build. And I'll show you guys what I mean when we get into the my career. Now, the team that you go to for this method does not matter whatsoever. Yeah, actually, it doesn't matter for the other one either, but that's beside the point. Now, the only thing that does matter is your settings and your animations. And that's actually important for both methods. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to set it up in this one. All right, first things first, you want to change your game difficulty to rookie. It's going to save you time. And then actually, I would change your action replays to never. Same thing with like camera cuts. I didn't think at first you had to, but then over while doing this method, I realized you, it could save you some time. I'll explain it more in a second, but... Short press and hold, you want to make sure that's on. Your action, your commentary does not matter, so you can put it on English. I don't know why it's set for Spanish for me. I don't know. I guess it just is. And then controller settings does not matter. But one thing that does matter is your animations. So with this build, you're going to want to use your Jokic motion style because it makes you very fast, which is very important for the method to work as quick as possible. Now, after that, I recommend you go to your dunk style and you want to create a dunk uh, style with all the contact dunks and all the standing dunk animations you can get even some like uh one handers just throw on as many uh dunk animations as you can as you can see i already have all the standing dunk animations so i'm going to throw those on it's very important because it makes it easier to, to activate them and that will be very very important for both methods so you're actually getting a bonus for this one as well so once you set up your thing make sure you put it in your player and now let me show you guys the attributes that you're starting off with this which is i i recommend this build for this method you get an 84 standing close shot you get a 984 standing dunk and a 76 post control and you get a starting 55 speed at 73 with an eight foot wingspan with the yokage motion style so you're going to be pretty darn quick to tell you the truth now i'm going to show you guys my starting vc in a second but that's how you set it up now after that for this for this method you're going to want to run outside of the arena now like i said earlier this is the art of shooting dunes method so it pretty much implies of you replaying the dunes and winning it over and over again and every 15 minutes collecting the art of shooting uh vc which is an extra 500 and you can do it four times per hour which is 2000 vc which is pretty good to be honest with you it's not the best but it's pretty good so i'm gonna go do the art of shooting first and then i'm gonna show you guys how to win the dune games because those can be very tedious and i'll explain more about that in a second so i wouldn't skip this because you will get confused all right as you guys can see i did my art of shooting side quest done now like i said you can only do it every 15 minutes which kind of sucks but it's all right you know you're still going to be making a lot of vc so you can see 92,000. now i'm at 757 vc which is pretty cool honestly now after you do your art of shooting drill you're going to run outside and then go straight to the dunes which is like literally next door to this so it's kind of cool Then you're going to want to talk to the guy and then you're going to want to play the guest challenger. So I'm going to show you guys doing that just because, um, I mean, it's already, I'm already here. So another, another thing I want to say is these games can be very easy and they get you a lot of season level XP. So if you want to get to level 40, this is kind of solid way to get there as well. So just a little quick tip about that. But once you talk to this guy, you're going to come to the open court menu here on this like panel. And then you're going to play the guest challenger. All right, so the easiest way to get win on these games is literally just to run straight to the paint with this build. You're Most of the time, you're going to be able to get it right next to the paint, like where the guy can't defend, and you're going to be able to make the shot very easily. Now, if you do get contested in the half court, then I'll show you how to deal with that as well. Just catch the ball inside the post, drop step, go up right away. Don't even worry about it, because even if you miss, you're going to hit the rebound most of the time. But you, you should try to get standing dunks. And then you're going to want to get through these games as quick as possible. Usually, it's going to take five to six minutes per game, which is kind of annoying. But that's just what we've got to deal with. All right. So as a quick bonus, if you dog walk that team, which honestly, with the 7-3, you should be able to, you can shut it down and it's going to save you some time. It could save you like a minute, to be honest with you, because it's pretty tedious to win the game at the end because they start quadruple teaming you. It's kind of annoying. 
but you're going to shut it down. You're going to get through these games as quick as possible. Now, I ended up with an A- minus in this game, so I'm not going to get as much VC as you possibly could. An A- plus gives you like 340 VC, so it's pretty noticeable. But 356 VC from that, and then 500 for the guest challenger for this game that took me about five minutes is about 800 and something VC. So as you can see, I just gained another 800 VC, which if you include the 500 VC that you earn from the artist shooting, it's like 1300 VC um for one run with the artist shooting drill now unfortunately the artist shooting drill does have a 15 minute cooldown so what you would do is go to the main menu again and then delete the build that you that you just did the run with and then remake the build again so go to your save slot and then remake the build and then do it over and over again until you get your enough vc now the easiest way to do it is to do i believe two or three runs and then or keep a track on the time between the artist shooting drills so you can get as much vc as possible so that's 10,000 vc per hour basically and you get season xp which is kind of cool